Are you looking to start your own online business? Then this video is going to help you out. Hey, what's going on you guys? Benjamin here with Motivational Marketer. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about things that you should take into consideration when it comes to starting your own online business. Now, I'm not going to really focus on too many different business models that you can get started with to get started with your own online business. But I'm going to just be talking about the things that you should take into consideration. Now, before I get into this video, I just want to first welcome you guys to my channel. And if this is your first time here and you're interested in learning different methods when it comes to making money online, then I invite you to subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Now, for whatever reason that you want to start your own online business, maybe you just want to make some money on the side. Maybe you just want to quit your regular nine to five job. So you want to start a side business that's going to eventually replace your full time income. Or maybe you're somebody who's been out of work for the past few months, just like a lot of people are right now during this pandemic. For whatever reason, these are some things that you need to consider. So whether you're thinking about starting an e-commerce business, you're thinking about starting a drop shipping business, you're thinking about going with Amazon FBA, affiliate marketing, online coaching. I'm going to be talking about five things that you need to consider. So the first tip that I want to share with you is you shouldn't be thinking like an employee. If you're going to be running your own online business, you have to think like a boss, meaning that you're going to face challenges, you're going to face problems, and you need to find solutions to those problems. If you're working a regular nine to five job and you're an employee, if you have a problem, you usually have to go to a supervisor or a manager and have them deal with it. But if it's your own online business, you're going to have to be the one that has to solve that problem. So you shouldn't be thinking like an employee and wait for somebody else to come and find, find the solution for you. You need to take the initiative and solve the problem yourself. Now, the second thing that you need to keep in mind is that you need to be prepared to put in the long hours. And just because you put in long hours, that doesn't mean that you're going to see results. You're not going to be working like an employee who's going to work 40 hours a week and you're going to receive a certain amount of pay. When it comes to your own online business, if you're not putting in the work, that means you're not going to make any money. You're not going to get any overtime. You're not going to get sick days. You're not going to get vacation pay, nothing like that. You're the boss. You're the owner. So you need to act like it. Now, the third tip is you shouldn't be afraid to invest any money. A lot of people are afraid of losing money. They have this emotional attachment to money. They think that if they spend money, they might lose it. And I mean, you probably will lose money, especially when you're getting started with your online business. But the truth is you need to learn from mistakes. It's necessary for you to make mistakes when you're getting started with your business so you know how to avoid them in the future and how to overcome them. It's just like they say, scared money doesn't make money. And the fourth thing that you need to take into consideration is that you need to have cash flow coming in. If you're making money with your online business, don't spend that on going out to dinner, going out buying stuff, jewelry, clothing, shoes, whatever. Because if you're getting to the point where you're making enough money for your business, you're going to have to pay taxes for that. And if you just constantly spend all the profit that you're making in your business, you're going to be, be uh, basically left with nothing. So you should have a steady cash flow coming in. So if you're working a regular job right now and you're thinking about starting a business, you should have enough money coming in from your job to pay your bills, your rent, utilities, and also have money saved up to invest into your business on a monthly basis. Even if it's an extra $100 a month, $200, whatever you can afford. And tip number five is that you need to take risks. You need to try new things and find out what works for your business and what doesn't work. So if you have an e-commerce business, try selling other things that you think people might be interested in buying that's related to whatever you're selling in the first place. If you're selling shirts, maybe somebody might want to be buying a pair of socks from you. If you're not taking risks, then you're not really finding out what works for your business. And you're kind of like holding yourself back as far as growth. So like I mentioned, I didn't really want to spend too much time on talking about the different business models that you can start when it comes to your own online business. I just wanted to share a few things that you need to consider and keep in mind. So I hope this video was valuable for you. And if you're somebody who's serious about starting your own online business, then check out the first link in the top of the description of this video for my personal recommendation. Well, I hope you guys got some value from it and hopefully you learned something new. And if you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Well, that's basically it for this video. So with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one.